Hey YouTube, and today I have a remake of the benchmark video I did on the AMD FX 6106 core 3.3 GHz processor. So, first of all, I ran the Geekbench 2 assessment to get some proper information about the processor. So we can see it's the AMD FX 6100 processor with an AM3 Plus processor package codenamed Zambezi. We can also see that I only have one processor installed in my system with six threads. Now, this is where people, including myself, can get confused as the AMD FX6100 processor uses CMT technology. Thanks to Zoo 1797 for this. It is a 6 core CPU. However, it has three modules, which have two cores per module. It's called cluster multi-threading, which is different to Intel's hyper-threading. As he says, if you wish to learn more, give it a search. As we know, it has a 3.3 GHz frequency, and now let's get to the cache. Actually, I'll let you read that, as to most people, it isn't very exciting. So now let's get to the actual tests. When I ran the benchmark assessment, we got a 7,453 for integer performance, and a 9,439 for floating point performance. This probably doesn't mean much to most people, so let's compare it with some other similar CPUs. To do this, we'll be using Passmark from Passmark.com, where the FX 6100 achieved a score of 5611. In this test, the higher the score, the better, so we can see that it outperforms its Phenom 2 predecessor, as well as beating an Intel i7, which was clocked at 2.67 GHz. The processor is not that far off the next i7 at 2.8 GHz either. Now, let's look at the price of these processors. Again, taken from Passmark.com, and we can see that the AMD FX6100 is the cheapest processor on the chart for this performance. If we divide the Passmark by the price, we can see the value of all these processors. We can see that the AMD FX6100 is great value for many, and roughly equal in value to the 2.67 GHz i7. This just shows that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get a good processor. Now, there has been great debate over the net and on my video about whether the FX line of processors are good or not, and judging on the research I have done and the hours I've spent using the processor, I can certainly say that it doesn't suck. It handles anything I throw at it, from word processing to video editing, you know, it works great for me. But I've also seen countless comments in my last video on this processor, people getting insane frames per second on high-end games with full specs, and they have this CPU and thoroughly recommend it for gaming. So thanks to everyone who made a comment and you know you've helped participate in one of my videos. If you have any other questions or any other benchmarks you'd like me to run, then just drop me a comment below and I'll be sure to do my best. Thanks for watching, don't forget to check out my review and unboxing video of this processor, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.